Manchester United, led out by Kieran Trippier. And West Ham's captain, Declan Rice, heads onto the pitch, followed by his colleagues in claret shirts, light blue shorts and claret socks with a bit of white piping all across the kit. Nick Pope in goal, Kieran Trippier, Fabian Scher, Sven Botman and Dan Byrne at left-back. Bruno Guimaraes, Sean Longstaff, Joe Linton in midfield. Jacob Murphy, this is his ninth start in the Premier League this season. Alan San Maxima and Callum Wilson with eight goals, equaling his tally from last season. And a bench of Martin Dubravka, Jamal Lascelles, Anthony Gordon, Matt Ritchie, Matt Target, Alexander Isak, Javier Manquillo, Joe Willock and Elliot Anderson. Wilson and Joe Linton for Isak and Willock are the two changes. Newcastle playing from the half to the right as we look, defending the goal behind which uh, the away section starts. And you listen to BBC Radio Newcastle and NUFC TV. Eddie Howe having an early chat with Alan San Maximo, who was standing next to him as Newcastle get the play going again. Burn to Botman. And he's gone for the big switch across to Trippier. That's a good ball. And a beautiful first touch to kill it. And Murphy takes it on the half turn. Comes inside, then turns back. Bruno out to Trippier. In the West Ham half, nil-nil. A swinging crossfield ball, Keras oh. header behind for a corner. How sloppy was that? Newcastle, a bit fortunate to get that corner. Tilo Keras header. He's got two options on the edge of the area. He puts it into the box towards the back post. Botman goes for it, away by West Ham. Sam Maxima on the right wing, beats his man into the box. Heads it in, oh! Yes, early goal for Newcastle United. And guess who? It's Callum Wilson against West Ham again. His 11th Premier League goal against the Hammers. And Sam Maxima set it up with great play down the right. Stuck the cross in with his left. And Wilson was there to head it into the back of Fabianski's net for his ninth of the season in a Newcastle shirt and having survived a couple of early scares they take the lead after six minutes it's West Ham United nil Newcastle United one that's a free header isn't it St Maximin they don't don't really clear the initial corner St Maximin keeps it alive and he just helps a ball in there with his left foot one nil up to St Maxima just past the halfway line sidesteps Bowen and rolls it back to Botman Trippier has pulled into space on the far side, they can't get in with the diagonal ball, it's back to Cher, across to Botman, again. And it's a short pass to Longstaff, now it might go to Trippier, it does. Five yards into the West Ham half, back to Longstaff. And he plays it to Cher. Just behind halfway. But the away fans are coming through loud and clear as Newcastle play it through. Joel Linton one on one, round the keeper and into the offside. net. But the offside he flag offside, didn't he? goes up, and Joel Linton is pending offside. a VAR check denied. VAR says Joel Linton is onside, oh. and Joel Linton rounded Lucas Fabianski in the 12th minute to make it West Ham United nil. Newcastle United too, and what a start this has been. They could have been behind straight away, but then they've gone down the other end and scored two goals. Wilson with the first, and an onside Joel Linton with the second. I have to say, when you, got, when, when you first see it, thought he was offside. It's a good finish. It was closed down on the edge of the box. So check. Foul by Bruno. Lucas Pacatar, good, oh, good save. save. Nick Pope got down low to push it behind. Yeah, I mean, he, he finds Bowen. Corner kick. Jacob Murphy is at the front post for Newcastle. Keeper. It's into the six-yard box. And Kurt Zuma has met the ball with a header. Hooked over the top by West Ham. Burn clear over his shoulder with Bowen lurking five yards outside the box. Joel Linton, good play. Oh, that's brilliant. 
shoulder barges Lucas Pakatar off the ball and Bruno Guimaraes releases Alan San Maxima Bruno making a run into the middle San Maxima's ball across is blocked he's instead found a pass to Murphy just inside the area back to Trippier crosses it towards San Maxima laid off oh, oh. no one there in black and white it was between all the Newcastle attackers in that move cleared by West Ham it was good play though good play all round San Maxima from that cross from Trippier had loads of room half time whistle from Craig Pawson Newcastle have the advantage Callum Wilson with a head up to make it 1-0 Joe Linton with the second given after a VAR check following the flag for offside that looked set to rule it out West Ham got one back though with a Kurt Zuma header at the back post from a Jared Bowen corner 2-1 Newcastle well, what if Newcastle United have kicked off and that's a confident backwards header from Aguer to Fabianski who was well off his line had to get it right and then he's lost it to Murphy in the area Murphy to Wilson 3-1 and what a start to the second half Jacob Murphy winning the ball back setting up Callum Wilson for a tap-in. West Ham have made a horrible mess of that and Newcastle have taken full advantage. Not even 30 seconds gone in the second half. It's West Ham United 1, Newcastle United 3 and Callum Wilson has his 10th of the season. You wouldn't see it on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Absolutely I was going to say it's schoolboy, but it's not even schoolboy because you wouldn't expect the schoolboy to do it. I mean, what's Fabianski's doing, giving it to him in the first place? The side of Newcastle's area, oh. that's an interesting ball. It's a pro ball. Field. It's got away with it. It's behind Trippier, but he's kept it in, kept it alive. Wilson collects. Oh, well played. Excellent. Well played. And then Longstaff. And what about that for a crossfield ball from Longstaff? Sam Maxima takes it down. Joe Linton's in. Back to Sam Maxima. On to Jacob Murphy. Good save. Joe Linton tackles. Oh. Corner kick. What a move that was. Murphy hands on head. He thought he had his goal in Should front of the away fans, but Fabianski saved after a brilliant, brilliant Newcastle move up the pitch. Oh. Trippier, Wilson, switch a play by Longstaff. And so Maxima on to Bruno. He's lifted it out to this near side, and Trippier chops and cuts inside fantastic feet and what a ball for Sam Maxima left wing Wilson and Murphy in the center Sam Maxima taking on two he's gone for it himself and Fabianski's tipped it around the post yeah he's just tried to bend it hasn't he great ball again Trippier he's just teased Zuma cut inside it's a good save 3-1 Newcastle lead They've won the ball back from West Ham, and it's Bruno, and he's gone to get Isak in over the top, Fabianski's coming, and has lost oh! it, and Isak is just lifting it into the empty net, and that is a fourth Newcastle goal after another West Ham mistake, and Alexander Isak is the beneficiary this time. Eight minutes to go, West Ham United won, Newcastle United for another <laughs> gift, and Isak has another goal. No, hey, honestly, where would you see it? Helped on for Lucas Pakatar, won back by Newcastle, and Bruno wants to play in Joe Linton and has, and Joe oh. Linton can take it through to goal. Defenders back with him, still Joe Linton into the bottom <laughs> corner. Joe Linton has his second of the night, and Newcastle have their fifth. Played through by the ball from Bruno. Defenders got back to him, but Joe Linton drove it with his left beyond Fabianski. And in the 90th minute, it's West Ham United one, Newcastle United five. Good finish, great ball. It's not the cleanest strike, is it? But it's five. Sums up West Ham's night.